Hundreds gathering today to stand with the Memphis Jewish community and Israel to pray for families, friends, and those overseas. Action News 5's Bria Bolden was there and shares how the beloved city is standing strong with Israel. Bria. Well, at this solidarity gathering today, Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland says Memphis stands with Israel, even saying MPD has taken steps to increase security around Memphis's Jewish community. I also spoke with the head of school at Bornblum Jewish, excuse me, Jewish Community School, who tells me their school has Israeli families, teachers and emails have gone out to their school community on how to keep children away from social media right now and how really parents and staff can do it too. Thousands are dead, families shattered forever as the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas captivates the world. Terrorism is terrorism. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's terrorism that's happening here or it's terrorism that's happening somewhere else. Dr. Daniel Weiss is the head of school at Memphis's Bornblum Jewish Community School. He's worried about children, parents, and teachers' access to images and videos being put on social media detailing horrific attacks and killings overseas. My role here, and, and I have a son who's in Israel, um, my role here is to be strong for everybody um, and really to be there specifically for our Israeli staff here at the school. Um, who are constantly looking at their phones and my phone is right there in case my son texts me so we know what's going on but we need to we need to be there for each other. Dr. Weiss also says they regularly educate students on the use of social media. Students in fourth and up to eighth grade use a social emotional learning program on the use of social media. They're also offering counseling if there's a need. <laughs> Not far from Bornblum, hundreds of people gathering in solidarity for Israel at the Jewish Community Center with the Memphis Jewish Federation to honor the men, women, and children who have lost their lives to this war and those caught in between. My sense of outrage is coupled with my deepest feelings of sympathy for all the people of Israel. City and state leaders showing their support for Israel and Memphis's Jewish community, the largest in the Mid-South. Even through devastation, they continue to stand tall. People, people ask all the time, are you okay? Is your family okay? The answer is no. None of us are okay. How can we be okay? It's impossible. We're not okay. Are, are, are my family members in safe places? Yes. But are we okay? I don't know that we'll ever be. So Dr. Weiss also told me today, if you're wondering how you can help, he says just check in with your family, friends, and members of the Jewish community here. Reporting in studio, Bria Bolden, Action News 5.